Missile count, missile carry, that definitely matters when it comes to air combat because multiple shots might be required. It is not a 100% guarantee that the missiles will track, destroy, etc. Multiple factors can go into reducing the probability of kill, the PK of the missile. So having redundancy, accounting for countermeasures, accounting for missile failures, accounting for maneuvering aircraft, these all come into factor and drive the requirement to have as many missiles as possible when you're out in an air-to-air -air engagement. Increasing the kinematic effects of the AMRAM is awesome, but to really ensure you get the most out of the missile, it all depends on sensors, data link, weapons count, launch geometry, all of these come combined to really improve the effectiveness of the AMRAM or any missile for that fact. The United States is showing that even decades old systems that went upgraded can deliver a nasty surprise. And in a world where we're hearing missile shots of well over 120 miles, that surprise matters, that capability matters.